My name is Limbiata and this is my podcast Color and Craft. Welcome to Spring Break Vlog Day 7. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yesterday was day 6, also known as Thursday, Shartostag in Norwegian, in English. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yesterday I didn't um, publish a uh, an episode and that's because life was too busy so today you will get some uh, highlights from yesterday as well and this video yay <laughs> so um what i'm wearing uh this is uh a kofta or sweater that my grandma knit for me when i was in my early teens uh, somewhere between 12 and 14 and now I'm 40 and it still fits um, that's mostly because of the fit <laughs> it's a very boxy square design it's a bit short but it still fits very well because I didn't grow that much <laughs> um, so yeah um, the name of this pattern is called Setestal this is loose, <laughs> lies. <laughs> um, it's a traditional Norwegian pattern. Yeah, uh, I might have, I might have just already said that. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. It's not a kofta because it's just open till here, so it's not a jacket, but it's better kofta. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm very happy that it still fits. Um, and you know, quality, knits quality yarn that lasts generations. So this is about 26 years old. Yeah. So as always, I'm like, okay, where to go next? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'll just start here. This is this year's Easter decorations. And here you see Kasha, Kras. Uh, it did. F it was higher, and then it just fell over two days ago. <laughs> um, maybe it had too little water, and so it just collapsed a bit. But you know, kind of spicy, spicy uh, taste. So this is decorated <laughs> around. I think um, it's a, the bottom of a milk carton and yeah some work with the scissor and glue <laughs> so this is a nice easter decorations in our in our home this year and also these two gentlemen or chicks <laughs> the kindergarten that my oldest um, goes to it's um, it's a little walk down from that kindergarten to the fjord so they go th they went there and collected these stones and brought them back and painted them and did some work with the glue <laughs> so these are in my windows uh, i think they're pretty funny <laughs> one tall and one smaller one <laughs> yeah welcome to our easter family And I have a finished object, or two, one, two, and ta-da, Easter egg decorations, 
These are knit in leftover yarn and I filled them with yarn ends. I just need to uh, figure out this thing here <laughs> so I can hang them. Maybe I will crochet a little loop or I just sew this in, I don't know. So I have a little bit of leftovers. Maybe, maybe there's enough for one more. I don't know. But I like this. It kind of looks like they're painted or eggs been decorated with the, those color, colorful spots. So this is a free pattern I found on Ravelry. It's in English. Uh, very easy to follow and I've linked it down below. And I've been knitting on another project for my baby girl. Like, who can tell what this is? Anyone? <laughs> okay, I'll show you. I already knit one a couple years back. Oh, it's this guy, Harbuza. So this, you can go on an egg hunt and collect in it, or you can have, use it as a decoration. Or... Yeah, it's pretty cute, so. This is my oldest girl's Harupusa bunny bunny bag. And this is the second one. So it's uh, knit like a square in the bottom and then in the round going up. And the pattern is in this booklet. It's uh, sadly only in Norwegian. Raumagan, Påske, Easter 2021. It was released. Aftenstrik. The designer, she has patterns that are in English, but not these. Maybe in a couple of years. So yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that was it. And as you might have seen, I have a friend over here. If you follow my normal um, podcast episodes, you have met... <laughs> she is my emotional support chicken and since it's Easter and we have a lot of chickens around here now well, this is the mama <laughs> um, yeah I have a lot of information about her in that other episode episode 2 um, but what can I say? Just it's knit in originally. Uh, you can use leftover yarn, three threads of fingering, I think is the original. But I used a more bulky yarn, Norwegian wool yarn. Uh, the assembling is a little bit of work, but it's so much fun to knit. And I did some adjustments here. There's a contrast color like on this one, but it's done in a different way and I, I made a rainbow because I wanted to do that. Safety eyes. Yeah. So she's my uh, pillow. <laughs> no, uh, she's my uh, stuffed animal. Mm, really nice and squishy. And um, you know, when you have chickens, chickens and a chick, you also need some roosters. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so uh, she was made this year. I'll put you here, over here, Gida. Oi. Oi, sit there. And these two I was made like two years ago, I think. With, let me see. Yeah, I have a pattern here. I, I like this kind of. Yarn. Um, where did I find it? Okay. It's not here. You can see Ralmagarn Vams. But these are actually made in one ball like this, but in a similar yarn. Fritis Garn from Sunnes Garn. Uh, so, yeah, one ball of these. And I got these two. I had a single one and I, I didn't really know what to make of it. I think I got it from my mom. Uh, and I thought, oh, it's, it's a nice color for Easter and 
for some reason I came across this a pattern. It's a free pattern as well. Maybe it's only in Norwegian. I will link it down below if I find it. Um, it's stuffed with some polyfill. Uh, and it's also felted a bit. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very easy knit. So 50 grams of this bulky yarn. And, and then these items are actually crocheted. The beak and the legs. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, yay! <laughs> and then it has uh, some tail feather here of other leftover yarn. This was just cut off from other projects that I had and I, I have collected it in a bag and I used it. So it's this is a real leftover project. Um, so yeah, and these uh, smaller the details they are knit in a in a, a little bit thinner wool uh, called finul. I will show it to you. Uh, it's kind of it's like the half the thickness. So these two they can like sit on a shelf like this. <laughs> yeah, my kids love them, and you know when we have kids, these are this is decorations that don't break. <laughs> so that's always nice, don't you think? So yeah, where should I put you guys? So yeah, that was my Easter decorations and my knit items for Easter. Um, and I have this project that I want to show you, yellow yarn. And I have two types of yarn today because I didn't make a video yesterday. So the first thing, oh sorry. I have some leftovers from a sweater project that I made a while back. So since this is yellow, it's a, uh, oh, sorry. This is the main color of the sweater. Nice green, I have another green and some beige heather. And then this was the color. It's kind of mustard yellow. It's, it, it looks really good in the sweater, but um, I don't know why I have more of it. Like, this is leftovers. I think maybe I wanted to make mittens because, and that's why I have this yarn. So this would be the, the main color of the mittens. So it would uh, be a contrast to the sweater because this is just used in in the yoke and the pattern uh, color work, uh, and the bottom is is more green. The main color is green. Um, with a couple of years has passed, and I'm now debating whether this is a good yellow for me. Or if I should go, if this is more a nicer yellow, I don't know. I have no idea. I need that color analysis. So yeah, I think it was mittens or a hat or a headband or something that would match the sweater. Or I'll just sell them and make something with this. <laughs> Who knows? So that was... Two balls of red yarn. Yeah, uh, by the way. Actually? No. What? It's two different kinds. Two different brands. <laughs> I didn't notice. So this is the brand, Fleetis Garn, that I made the uh, my chicken and the roosters. And this is the sweater that I use. But you know, you see it's almost the same color um, so it's it's bulky both of them 100% Norwegian wool made in spun in Norway this is more local yarn for me this is more southern Norway anyway uh, so yeah hmm. <laughs> surprise and from this factory in Roma which is pretty close to me 
they also make uh, this finu. This is a fingering to. You can use it as DK too. It's very versatile. Because uh, it's an old label. Uh, and I have two more. This is more like an Easter yellow or lemon, lemon yellow. So uh, the thing is, uh, you can also use like two strands of this and you kind of get this size thickness. Uh, also, 100% Norwegian wool made in spun in Norway. Um, so here you have three yellows and I still don't know which one suits me better. My sweater is kind of in the middle of it. the the Easter sweater. I'm not going to show it today or maybe a mix between these two somewhere in between. So you can see this is leaning towards orange or brown and I'm quite I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so I, I love having leftovers from this yarn. I have knit a lot with it in the past, like mittens and slippers and whatnot. Um, and the leftovers I use to make um, seat covers for the outdoors or yeah, leftover mittens. And yeah, I, I love working with this yarn. And also Fienul. Um, I am collecting like the two balls I have of these. I it was actually an exchange or swap at some point because I want to make a blanket with these, and it's used for a lot of the traditional sweaters. And yeah, you can use it in color work, and yeah, I can use two strands with this, and it's very versatile to use them together. So these are keepers. So, um, life and a little bit of chatting. So today, actually I can start with yesterday. Uh, I think I mentioned that we had some a family activity planned in the last episode. <laughs> oh, they're calling me now downstairs. Okay, one round and a little bit of chatting. Sorry, we went to a... Uh, swimming pool kind of thing uh, it was um, the day was sponsored by his work it just changed workplace this winter and um, so this was like a Easter bonus giveaway thing for the workers and their families so we went to uh, Bybad in Ålesund our closest city and there were lots of kids, lots of family people. Uh, so there are like a therapy bath. Um, they had actually an Easter disco, so a lot of music and it was dark. And then they had like, um, oh, what's it called? Colors and lights in the, in the swimming pool. Uh, that was a lot of fun, but I, I didn't stay there for very long because it was, uh, yeah, it was a lot of noise, a lot of stuff going on, <laughs> a lot of stimuli. So, and there's like a spa, showers, and you know, diving towers, and like bubble baths, and a kiddie pool, a baby pool, warm pools. Um, so, we stayed there for just a couple of hours before everyone was just totally exhausted. And we got some pizza for free there or from the workplace. and. So it, it was nice. I'm glad I we went, but I, I was so tired afterwards. Um, so yeah, that's family time. So I made that a priority and today I'm sore in my whole body. You would think like going to a therapy pool, <laughs> you would feel refreshed, but I'm really sore in my thighs. I don't know. Um, yeah, and we had a rough night. Our baby is getting, is teething or something, and we are awake for several hour, several hours every night. So today has been um, 
I feel a bit like chewed and spit out. <laughs> um, but you know, we are lucky. We are we have everything we need, and it's family holiday. It's all good, really. Um, and today we had a childhood friend of mine visiting. She lives in another city, and she came with her partner and. The kids always love to, uh, are, we love uh, we love it when they visit us. It's uh, yeah, <laughs> she's so good with kids. It's yeah, and yeah, my oldest she loves her, and my uh, youngest she's um, like a god godmother, but she's not. Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, she's kind of like a guardian for her, and so we had like a yellow not lunch or meal but we had some snacks yellow snacks and fruits and yeah juices yeah so we, we just did that for fun and then we're playing around and yeah catching up so that was really nice so uh, yeah it's friday today long friday feels like a long friday so it's three days more of this spring break vlog and I'm having a lot of fun with it so and I hope you have a nice holiday you get to knit more than I do <laughs> that you're sleeping well you're doing fine well and um, you're healthy and things are good doing what you enjoy uh, whether it's Easter or holiday break in the in the city or in the mountains or skiing or I don't know <laughs> you do you so okay uh, I'll see you tomorrow